Um, like I said, I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit, do a little bit of work here, and I'll talk to you guys when I head to the gym for my bench session. Talk to you guys then. I remember I went to Louis V with hat. Watch All right, so we're on our way right now to the gym. I'm dragging this guy along with for the workout. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a bench day. I have my heavier bench session. You can take it off right here. Um, it's gonna be my heavier bench session. So I'll take you guys through it, kind of give you some key tips and um, show you guys the workout. So talk to you guys when we get into the gym in a bit here. $10,000 on a glass. I never ever thought I'd see that. So like I was saying guys, when you're doing a unilateral exercise where you're going one arm at a time, you're forcing your body to kind of compensate and you're not able to kind of just push through the movement haphazardly. So like I said, as Mark's doing this right now, he's forced to stabilize through his core so that as he's pressing, his body's wanting to lean, but he's kind of avoiding that by using his core, exactly. So you just saw him do a bad rep and now he's actually forcing himself to stabilize. So the benefits of it are that you're getting muscle groups that you normally wouldn't get going, those supporting muscle groups, um, they're getting a little bit more active through this sort of um, uh, movement. So I started out with bench. Um, I was doing three sets of five today, and I wanted to work up to 185 for three sets of five, which was a PR, and I did that, and it felt awesome. Um, moving really well, and um, actually was like the be best bench session I was telling Mark since I kind of busted out my wrist a little bit. Because like I said before, guys, when you're doing something like that, it definitely makes a big difference um, if you're doing the movement more often, just like if you're trying to get better at shooting a basketball, you got to do it more often. Strength is definitely a neural adaption just as much as it is kind of getting more muscle mass to move more weight. So keep that in mind when you're kind of thinking about your strength goals and your, and your goals just in the gym in general. So. So three sets of uh, six to eight reps there. Um, single arm shoulder press standing. And uh, yeah, Mark's about to go now. Ready for this? Never. He's not. Yes. 
So if you guys have been seeing me doing the med ball push-ups lately, the reason for that is essentially because the med ball makes you stabilize a lot more, so it increases the activation of whatever, mu whatever muscle group you're trying to get. So like, for instance, there's a lot of research out there in one of Jeff Nippert's videos, he actually touches on it, um, that doing med ball push-ups with a close grip like this definitely increases your tricep activation. Um, so along with that, helps with shoulder stability, keeping healthy shoulders, and um, it's always a sick pump. So that's kind of the main thing, right? Um, but yeah, so three sets of 10 to 12 here. Is the tricep looking? Is it the profile angle? Ugly. You have, no, you have no triceps. It was so fun. So uh, we just did the, uh, the close grip. Now we're gonna go to dual med ball. So this is gonna get a little bit more of the, the chest and the outer chest um, compared to the close grip, which is gonna get a little bit more inner and tricep focus. See? Jeez. <laughs> Making my way down to Bro, you gotta start singing it. How are you gonna play this right now? Right. How are you gonna play that song? Is this white chick? <laughs> Where's Terry Crews? <laughs> I never ever thought I'd see that in my life Now I'm in the east cause them boys are getting right man I was on TV making 50 racks a year